Hey, how's it going guys? The Census Bros here. And in today's topic, we're going to be talking about free to play. Isn't it crazy to think that how much free to play has changed? A couple of years ago, it was typically a demo, a level, or even a way for people to show you what the future game was going to be, such as the playable teaser with Silent Hills. And it's very interesting, ever since Fortnite has come out, how much that has actually changed. With such titles on the store now being free to play, such as Apex, which is obviously a Battle Royale game, even Rocket League, which is obviously a, a kind of mick take on FIFA, and then you've got like games like Destiny 2 and even Call of Duty. And it's crazy to think within a few couple of years ago, that never actually happened. You never had like a full-on game that could come out and you could play and everything would be, you know, how it would be as if you paid for a full game. So instead, obviously, the microtransactions in the game is what makes up for it being free. Which is quite mad when you think about it, that people will be more than happy to spend, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 quid into a game for something cosmetic, compared to if they pay a game for, let's say, 60 to you know, £40, pounds, that'd be it. They'd instantly turn around and be like, no, I'm not putting more money into this game. And I find that quite interesting when you think about it, simply because, well, obviously a couple of years ago, free-to-play wasn't much of anything. It was just demos. But at the same time, you do have to kind of wonder, like, if it wasn't for Fortnite coming out, would Warzone be free? I mean, that's all questions that I've been thinking about recently, like, how much, even though a franchise, they're say, like, other people wouldn't play. People like myself and other people who typically play Call of Duty, Rainbow Six, Apex, obviously look at Fortnite and think it's a child's game. And in some cases, obviously, it's more guarded towards children. But at the same time, you have to sit there and think, if it wasn't for, for that game coming out to being a free-to-play game, would... Warzone or would COD look at going for free? I mean, this is the first time in a, or a long time that we've ever had free DLC uh, in terms of like, you know, mid seasonal updates, which is pretty mad when you think about it. But I just wanted to make a short, small video just to kind of understand and see what other people's thoughts and opinions were. Simply because, well, if it wasn't for Fortnite being such a great success, would we actually have any of the decent things that we have now? Even like certain games like Red Dead Redemption 2 for a small amount of time went from, you know, being a, a standalone single player game with the online and now they do the online for like a fiver, I believe. I think that offer still stands until April. I could be wrong, but that's what I remember it being. But what does this mean for the future of gaming? I guess we'll never really fully know until the future is here. We'll just have to take it by a day by day basis. But if the rumours are true about how Call of Duty and how certain other games will start to become free to play, it'll be quite an interesting way to see how the money is going to be recuperated considering the amount of money, time and effort that are put in, into making games. So I can only imagine what they're going to try and pull out of the bag with this one. But like I said, this is such a short video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and uh, we shall see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoy and we'll see you later. Peace out boys. Peace out. Yeah.